It's early in the morning, 6.31 a.m. I'm on my way to Milwaukee for the Anime Comic Con. 414, I think that's what they call it. See you guys when I get there. Alright, so I was able to get to Milwaukee safely. Uh, parked in some ramp. And I don't know where I'm at. But... I didn't bring none of my stuff. I had to come back to my car, come grab it. But I have to attend anyways, so might as well scout the place out. So I was at the wrong place and I was at the wrong parking lot. I was totally in a different place. It was like a 10 minute walk to the anime 414. So thank God I was able to figure it out. So I decided to Pay my parking and drove and finally got to the right place. Anime 414 Milwaukee. Finally here, doesn't seem like there's a lot of people yet. I cannot wait to get my Dragon Ball Z Goku signed by the voice actor. Alright, got my one day pass. Saturday, let's go. As much as I want to check out the place, I knew I had to go straight to Goku voice actor to get an autograph. That was my main thing was to get that done first before I started looking at anything. I unfortunately didn't know where it was because I'm still new to four anime 414. So I'm very noob at this. I'm, I don't go to much convention. I think the only convention I went to last time was C2E2. and. To get a autograph, you have to purchase a ticket on their website for an autograph. So Anime 414 is not like that. It turns out, I guess you just you just show up, and then you go straight to the voice actor, and you lined up, and you pay there. So that's pretty cool that they have it like that. Uh, first come, first serve, I guess. Unless you have VIP, then you get in a little faster, and you get to line up a lot faster. I just got my autograph. I got a little time to kill. Go check out the event. Check out some cool toys they got. So let's go see what they got. Thank <laughs> you. 
All right, guys. So here's a lot of swords they have here. These are very cool to display. They're not metal. They're all just props, which is still really cool to have. Honestly, those are few I really want, like this cloud sword. If you guys watch my channel, I mainly collect a lot of more vintage toys and some modern, like turtle ninjas, action figures. Really, I don't collect too much of anime figures yet. Yet, I don't know when I will, but at this moment, I'm not. I'm not really a big fan of the statue anime figures like these. They look really cool, but for some reason, not draw me in. I did see this Mortal Kombat trilogy. This. Jade's behind it, right? Yeah, yeah, I seen Jade behind it. That's pretty cool. 40 bucks. I'm not trying to bash on the anime figures. They're very cool, very detailed. I love them. For some reason, it does not draw me in at the moment to collect any of them. But if I did start collecting, it would most likely be the DBZ just because I grew up watching DBZ. So I'm a huge fan of Dragon Ball Z. And this. Stadium of Dragon Ball Z was pretty cool. I kind of wanted that. A lot of Pokemon. This booth was pretty cool. They had some pretty vintage games. These are all Japanese vintage games, though. The Clock Tower 2 was pretty cool. I kind of wanted it just because I remember Clock Tower. It was like one of the scariest games I ever played as a kid. So I kind of wanted it just because of that reason, but I decided to skip on it. But there's definitely a lot of artwork here of anime. Very talented people. Like the way they made this is awesome. There was a few of them I kind of wanted, but I couldn't find the right one just to pick up to take home. So all these are 3D printed and this red Gyarados 3D printed Pokeball is really cool. I really wanted it. I don't know why I didn't pick it up, but I'm looking at it again and damn, I still want it. How much you guys asking for one? For the big ones, they're $40 a piece. For the small one, it's 25 Okay. And then we do sell all them on Etsy. So if you want to, you can always take a business card. We sell each of them on Etsy. There's even a few that we don't currently have out right now because they're already sold out. Oh, wow. We have like a Cubone, we have a Gengar, we have a Squirtle, we got Lumpia. Uh, there's an Annihilate and Minky as well. So we just already sold out of a bunch of them. Wow. All right, thank you. Thank you. We appreciate it. I might come back for the Xbox 360. That was pretty cool.
Damn, look at Goku line. It just got even longer. Thank God I got in when I did because that's a long wait time. Because of the rules, I couldn't really record some of the guests. So here is the website where all the guests that showed up during that weekend. A lot of great guests, especially Goku, was the number one autograph I had to get. Could not pass that one up. I wish I would have got it more, but I had a such a such a short time frame that I couldn't afford to go get any more. I really wanted Krillin's to have to wait till next time. There was a lot of great DBZ characters. I really wish that Christopher Sumbat would have came, which is the voice actor of Vegeta. That would have been really cool. But these are all the great, great guests that also showed up here. Oh my God! No. Oh no, you're good. That's a long line for Goku. Not just a long line. <laughs> All right, that's pretty much it for the anime con for me. Um, a lot of Funko Pop swords, fan art. <clears throat> a lot of nice art people. Hey guys, made it home, got my Dragon Ball Z 
12 inch jumbo size whatever you guys want to call it x plus san diego comic-con signed with jsa certificate so i got him saying kamehameha which is the best line ever everybody that grew up watching dragon ball z know that line <clears throat> I very honored to meet the voice actor of Goku. It was crazy that he was in Milwaukee. Uh, I haven't been to Anime 4104. It's my first time. Only reason why is because Goku was there. So I had to go get an autograph. I drove an hour and a half, or a little bit more, like two hours, back and forth. Just for this autograph. Was it worth it? Heck yes. I'd do it again all over if I had to. So it was an honor to meet the voice actor Goku. I grew up watching him. Favorite, favorite anime of all time for me since I grew up with Dragon Ball Z. Don't get me wrong, I love other animes out there. Very glad I got to meet him. Very awesome dude. Very nice guy. I cannot wait to meet the voice actor of Vegeta. Surprisingly, he wasn't there. A little upsetting. But maybe next time I catch him on Anime 414 in Milwaukee. So hopefully I get to meet Vegeta next or again meet Goku and next time I'll be ready to get some more autograph. I really want a Krillin autograph too. I just didn't have anything of his to get signed and I couldn't find anything in the anime convention that was cool enough for me to pick up to get Krillin signature. So next time I get Krillin signature and I'll probably find something cool so I can get, have him sign it. Same thing for Vegeta. I gotta go find some cool Vegeta toys. So I can get him to sign that too. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that quick video. Quick hunt. I didn't pick up much besides the autograph. Uh, again, you guys already know. If you guys watch my videos. I am more of a vintage. Whatever draws me in really. I have some Dragon Ball Z also figures. I have some Dragon Ball Z figures I had in my collection. So... I just at this moment don't collect anime so yeah this is really the only anime I have besides the Digimon stuff but yeah it was awesome meeting the guy I hope you guys enjoyed the video if you guys are new to my channel please do me a favor and hit that subscribe button it'll help me out a lot and to all my subscribers that have been uh, watching my videos and liking it and commenting I appreciate you guys thank you for taking the time out of your time to watch my video that means a lot they keep motivating me to keep going out hunting, showing you guys some very cool stuff.